I hereby call the emergency special meeting for the Brockton School Committee. Uh, we are here in the George M. Rahm Little Theater, Brockton High School, which is 474 Stav, Brockton Mass 02301. It being time, Friday, September 1st, the year 2023, 3.30 p.m. Uh, I will first call to order and establish a quorum. Uh, Mr. Sullivan. Yeah. Mr. Homer. Here. Vice Chair Ehlers. Here. Mr. Rodriguez. Here. Ms. Azak. Here. Mr. Sullivan. Here. Chair is here as well. We have established a quorum. I would ask you to please stand and salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I do want to thank everybody for being here at 3.30 on a Friday. Uh, this shows the support that we all have, and I want to say that again, we all have for the boys and girls that are students in the BPS system, and also the teachers and staff that work every day. I also uh, want to make it clear, because there was a lot of calls to my office today and texts. I, I thought it was stated last night, but the deficit that we're talking about in question, it's 14.4 million, is not in this current fiscal year. It is not in this current fiscal year. There's this misnomer that there's an $18 million deficit in this fiscal year. That is not true. We are talking about the previous fiscal year, which closed on June 30th. So it's FY23. It's a $14.4 million deficit for the previous fiscal year. I just want everybody to understand, because I know a lot of staff and BEA members that I uh, strongly support and, and thank uh, were confused about that. But we're talking about the previous year. Uh, I also, again, just wanted to give um, the members of the school committee an update as well. Uh, I did speak to the leadership team this morning. I participated as chair in the leadership team of the Brockton Public Schools, the principals, and uh, executive team. Uh, and again, just expressed our desire that we stressed last night. We want to make sure that there's a smooth transition for the first day of opening of school next Wednesday. Staff reports back next Tuesday. And then the kids will come back, including one of my own, will be coming back on Wednesday the 6th. I also want everybody to know, and many of you do know this, it is the standard practice of the Brockton School Committee to have a meeting the first night of school. Typically, we have our meetings, as you know, on Tuesday evenings. We will be having it on Wednesday, Wednesday, which is the 6th of September. Some other questions came up today. Uh, will we be able to speak as the general public, as the constituents, as the taxpayers? As you know, at our regular scheduled meeting on the agenda, there is a hearing of visitors. So you will be allowed to speak on Wednesday, and I would encourage and offer you to come. Today is an emergency meeting. We have an agenda that was duly noticed. I do have to read the following into the record as chair. This meeting will be held and will be accessible to the public via Brockton Community Access. Brockton Public Schools website, which is www.bpsma.org, YouTube, and also Comcast Channel 8 and the 1071 HD version. The public can access this meeting via the following link, which is www.youtube.com, the Brockton channels. We have done Agenda 1, call to order. We have done Agenda 2, Pledge of Allegiance. We have done Agenda 3 when we established the quorum. I want to thank Mrs. Rivas Mendez. I know traffic was, was tough to come down. Thank you for coming here. Uh, we will now go on to Agenda Item 4, uh, and I will read the following to the record. Discussion and vote to appoint an acting superintendent of the Brockton Public Schools. I open it up to the members of the school committee. Mr. Rodriguez, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, Tony Rodriguez, uh, Ward 4 School Committee. Uh, I make a motion to move to appoint Dr. James Cobbs as the acting superintendent of the Brockton Public Schools effective immediately and subject to a successful, a successful negotiation. Second. Uh, there's a form of a motion by Mr. Rodriguez. It was properly seconded by Vice Chair Kathy Ehlers. Is there any uh, discussion on, on the motion? I, I, I would like to just share my, my thoughts on this. I support this wholeheartedly. As mayor, I have uh, every Wednesday department head meetings at City Hall. Dr. Cobbs comes to every single meeting on behalf of BPS. He's a deputy superintendent. He's a licensed superintendent. He also has served our nation and is a veteran. So I support this. Uh, we will now do a roll call vote because there was a motion and it was properly seconded under Robert's rules. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Uh, Mr. Homer. No. Uh, Vice Chair Ehlers. Yes. Mrs. Rivas Mendez. Yes. Mr. Rodriguez. Yes. Ms. Azak. Yes. 
Mr. Sullivan? Yes. The chair says yes as well. Congratulations, and we look forward to, to working with you, Dr. Cobbs. Thank you for what you do for the students at BPS. We will now go on to uh, Agenda 5, which is a discussion and vote to authorize an independent, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add external third-party investigation and audit. Any conversation relative to that? Vice Chair Ehlers, please. I move to authorize the chair and vice chair in consultation with legal counsel to initiate an independent third-party audit and investigation of the fiscal year 23 budget deficit. Second. It's a form of a motion made by the Vice Chair Kathy Ayles is properly seconded by Joyce Azak. Is there any uh, comments uh, on the motion? Mr. Rodriguez, please. Knowing that this is a very um, touchy subject, um, I move that we also include two sitting members of the committee to accompany the, the chair and the vice chair in this process. You made the motion, right? Do you, do you mind revoking your original motion and, and add to that amendment? I absolutely will. I move to authorize. First, legally, under Robert's rules, you just have to revoke your I revoke, motion. I revoke my motion. Joyce, will you revoke your second? I revoke my second. That original motion is abolished. We'll go on, Kathy. <clears throat> I move to authorize the chair, vice chair, and two members of the existing school committee in consultation with legal counsel to initiate an independent third party audit and investigation of the fiscal year 23 budget deficit. Second. The motion was made by Vice Chair Kathy. It was properly seconded by Joyce Zake. Any comment on the motion? My comment would be this as chair, I support this wholeheartedly. I want to do a deep dive. I want to work with a firm that specializes in this type of thing, not connected to the city of Brockton. I think that's extremely important. Mm -hmm. But I also want to make sure that those that are here, those that are watching, those that are parents, those that are alums, those that are uh, employees understand that we are taking this extremely serious. We will give regular updates and we look forward to the findings, whatever they, whatever they render. There was a motion and it was properly seconded. Uh, we will take a roll call vote, please, on that matter. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. Uh, Mr. Homer? Yes. Vice Chair Ehlers? Yes. Mrs. Rivas Mendez? Yes. Mr. Rodriguez? Yes. Ms. Azak? Yes. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. The Chair says yes as well. That passes. We will now go into agenda item six, and I need to read the following to the record, if I may. Executive session pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A2, which is defined as the following, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. I, I need to take a motion to go into executive session. Motion to go into executive session. So motion made. Is there a second on that motion? Second. Motion made by Mrs. Sullivan. Uh, it was probably seconded by Mr. Sullivan going to executive session. We need to call a roll call vote. Mrs. Sullivan? Yes. Uh, Mr. Homer? Yes. This is uh, Vice Chair Kathy Ehlers? Yes. This is Rivas Mendez? Yes. Mr. Rodriguez? Yes. Ms. Azak? Yes. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. The chair also says yes. We will be going into executive session. And please know that we will not be coming back into a public forum. So I would respectfully ask all of you to please join us next Wednesday. We will have hearing of visitors at that time. I know there are a lot of people that want to talk to us. I also want to know, a lot of you have been here in the past, some of you haven't. When you come in on Wednesday on the podium, there will be a sign-in sheet. You just need to sign in that sheet and that's how we will go. Typically, it is limited to three minutes per person, up to 15 minutes under the, under the rules. I will ask his chair, and I believe we can't take that vote now, I will ask to waive that 15 minutes so we don't stifle anybody that wants to speak that evening. But we will take that vote on Wednesday. We will now go into executive session, joined by Acting Superintendent James Cobbs.